Hello and welcome back to another Keep Moving with Emily. I'm so glad you are joining me. Today we are doing a full body workout, cardio and strength. We'll throw in a little bit of hand-eye coordination, so make sure you have a tennis ball, weights. If you've got those cordless jump ropes, grab them. We'll be doing a little bit of jump roping too, but um, it'll be a 30 minute workout, full body workout. So let's keep moving. Let's start off with a nice little warm up. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall, take a big breath in out to the sky, and exhale. Good, big breath in again. And exhale. One more big breath in. And exhale, nice. Let's look from right to left. Warm up our neck a little bit. Looking from one side to the other. Good, a couple more here. Nice, now we're gonna look up to the sky. Bring your chin to your chest. If you get that weird electric zing, just bring your head back to neutral. Look up and here. Good. Sitting up nice and tall. Last one. Head up and chin to chest. Perfect. Let's do some nice little shoulder rolls here. We're just gonna get that body nice and warm from our head to our toes. Roll those shoulders forward. Good. Feels good to get the body moving. Now this workout can be done seated or standing, so I'll show some options. Good. Open up those arms nice and wide and close. If you want, you can tap your foot out to the side, just like that. Perfect. Tap. Perfect. Three, two, and one. Let's do some just gentle arm circles forward, tiny little circles. Rotate it backwards, reverse it. Good. I want you to bring palms to the sky, palms to the ground. Nice little rotation, and when you're ready, you're gonna come forward and back to the side. Working a little bit of coordination, warming up the brain. Good, one more out to the side, and one more forward. Ooh, feeling those arms nice and warm. Perfect, we're gonna reach it up and over and up and over. I like to use my elbow as a little bit of stability as I reach it up. Getting a nice stretch in those obliques and those shoulders. Perfect. <sighs> Breathe and reach. If you need to slow it down, go for it. Our bodies need a little bit of time to get warmed up. This is what we call a dynamic warm up. Super important before we get into our full exercises. Good, let's just do a nice little twist. If you wanna reach an arm, go for it. We'll warm up that spine, but maybe we just turn from right to left. Again, if you want to add that reach, go for it. Perfect, three, two, and one. Let's warm up that lower body. We're gonna do nice little knee hugs, pull that knee in, rotate a couple to the right and a couple to the left. Gently release, other side. Perfect, and back to that first side. Yep, last one here. Good, and release. Extend that right foot out, heels to the ground, toes pointed up. Scoop towards that heel, big circle. Nice little hinging motion here. We'll see this later. When I say hinge, it just means bending forward. One more, perfect. Other side, extend that other foot forward, heels on the ground, toes pointed up, reach. You're gonna feel a nice stretch in that hamstring but we're moving through the stretch, so we're not doing a static stretch, which means we just sit and hold. We're moving through. Maybe each time you feel a little bit, like you can reach a little bit further. Last one. Perfect. All right, we're gonna do some nice little hip openers, tap that foot out to the side, and then switch, or I'm physically lifting that leg up and down, just like that. Perfect. Now, getting overheated is never fun, so after this warm up, we're gonna have you turn on that fan, maybe grab a swig of water, and we're gonna get started. Good, three, two, last one, and one. All right, shake it out, pump it out, grab some water, turn on your fan, and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna put our hand-eye coordination stuff up on the screen, so grab that tennis ball. Here we go. 
I love doing hand-eye coordination. This is what we call neuromotor exercises, which means we work our brain and our body doing a little bit of agility, reaction coordination. So this is what our hand-eye coordination is gonna be. So grab that tennis ball. Again, we can do most of these exercises standing if you'd like. I'm gonna do them all seated. But if you're standing, make sure you are in a safe position. Slide bend in those knees. Here we go. We're gonna start with pancake, right to left. Yep. Tossing from right to left. We might have a more affected side. Maybe we go up nice and high. Maybe it's quick little tosses. See if you can get your eyes up and look at the screen, not right at the ball. Again, we're doing that hand-eye coordination piece. Good, or maybe we're tossing. Let's go single hand. So maybe you choose your right or you choose your left. You decide. Keep going. If you wanna add a little bit of a challenge, maybe we twist from right to left. Woo! Try not to drop the ball. Maybe you toss it higher. Let's switch sides. I am not left-handed, so this one's a little bit more tricky. Good. We're working our dexterity, super important. Good. Perfect. We're moving on. Lateral reach and pull. So reach both arms up overhead, and I'm gonna grab the ball with one hand, and I'm gonna pull that elbow down, reach, and back up. Another side. So this is called lateral flexion. So we're gonna to lean to the side, bringing that elbow down towards our hip. Good. You're gonna feel it in your core, maybe in your back as you pull that elbow back. Good. Perfect. Couple more. Last one on each side. And then we're gonna exchange the ball in front and overhead. So open up those arms nice and wide, palms are facing forward. Exchange the ball in front, open, up overhead. Good. Squeeze onto that ball. If we're seated, maybe you close your eyes and do this. If you're standing, keep those eyes open. Good. Really squeezing those shoulder blades as we open up those arms nice and big. Squeeze in the chest as you bring the ball together. Still working that brain as we go in front and over. Last one, three, two, one. Now we're gonna exchange behind the back. So sit forward on that chair, open up the chest. Maybe you're going clockwise right now. Other direction. Really open up that chest, reach for that ball. If we're standing, feet are nice and wide. Of course, nice and tight, sitting up or standing up nice and tall. Perfect. All right, for the next, I don't know, four exercises or so, we're gonna take a seat. We're gonna exchange the ball underneath those legs. So feet are at 90 degrees, hinge forward and exchange the ball underneath. Sit nice and tall. Good, it feels a little bit like a crunch. Again, we're gonna see this hinging motion in a second. Keep it up. Last one. Perfect. Get those feet wide. We're gonna go figure eight. So under left, over left, under right, over right. The wider your feet, the more you're gonna feel it in your core, those obliques. Yep, under, over, under, over. If you wanna speed it up, go for it. If you need to slow it down, you can do that too. Good. Three. Two, and one, perfect. All right, we're going into circles. So grab that ball, reach the ball as far forward and as wide as you can. Once you come back in the middle, other direction. Good, we're working on that range of motion, a little bit of core, stability reach, like you're stirring a big pot. Perfect. Breathing through this last one. And then we're gonna finish with a little cardio. Sky to hips to ground. Good, reach. Now if bending over makes you dizzy, reach it up and then reach it forward. You got it. Three, two, and one. Awesome work. I love doing hand-eye coordination. You can always do these exercises anytime throughout the day maybe while you're watching TV during commercial breaks. Tennis ball, super easy piece of equipment we have in our house. So we are moving on to our the main portion of our workout where we're gonna be doing cardio, strength, cardio. So I'm calling it a cardio sandwich because we're gonna go cardio, strength moves, and then cardio again. So grab those weights, make sure you have your jump rope handy, and we are gonna get going. So I'm gonna put on a timer and we are gonna be doing these exercises up on the screen right here. We're gonna be doing 10 knee knee, jack jack. I'll show you what that looks like. 10 single arm press, leg extension on the right, then on the left. Same thing with the curl with the knee, 
and then a little bit of reaction drill forward, wide, up, and down. So, standing option, this is gonna be much more challenging. Maybe you just tap your knee, 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 jack, jack, that's one, and you're going for 10. Seated option, knee, knee, jack, jack, or you just twist, twist, jack, jack. You're gonna go for 10 of them. The nice thing about workouts like this when we're doing it for time, you can go at your own pace. So you can stick with me. If you wanna go faster, you go faster. If you wanna go slower, you can go slower. Next one is that single arm press with the leg extension. So you can either do same leg, same arm, or opposite. As I press up to the sky, I'm gonna do a leg extension. I'm here for 10, then we're gonna go to the other side, and then we're gonna go 10 curl with a knee hold. So I'm gonna challenge your core, a little bit of balance, then we'll switch sides and we'll go forward, wide, up, and down. That's one, and it's really challenging for the brain, but it's super fun. Um, go at your own pace. If going down like this makes you dizzy, you can always go forward. We're gonna put those four exercises on repeat for four minutes. So if you're ready, let's go. I'm gonna put my timer on. We're starting with 10, knee, knee, jack, jack. Again, if you wanna do any of these standing, that single arm leg extension with a press, maybe we just do a knee raise or a leg extension, that's up to you. But we're starting with knee, knee, jack, jack, 10 of them in three, two, one, let's go. So maybe I just tap the knee, that's fine, one. Good, as long as you keep moving, that's what I'm happy with. We gotta keep that brain engaged as we count to 10. This round is gonna take a little bit longer because these moves take a little bit longer. Good, keep it up. Once you hit 10, knee, knee, jack, jack, then you move on. That single arm press with a leg extension. Again, if you wanna do same arm, same leg, go for it. If you wanna go opposite, go for it. All right, so as I press, I'm gonna extend. I like doing opposites. Exhale as we press it up. Remember, we're doing 10 on the right and then 10 on the left. If you wanna put that arm out to the side, give it a little bit more balance, that's cool too. If that leg extension doesn't work for you, just give me a single arm press. Once you hit 10, you go to the other side, same idea. Leg extension with a press. Keep going. Maybe for standing, maybe we just do a knee or we can go laterally. That's kind of weird though. It's like tapping your stomach and rubbing your head. Good, or you do a leg extension. This is gonna challenge your So many different options. Good. Once you hit 10, then we're moving on to a curl. So we're either raising that knee and holding. Again, 10 curls. We can either hold or you can add that knee raise. Good, if we're seated, maybe we just hold that leg with that arm. Good, keep it up. Once you hit 10, other side. So maybe I'm just sitting here, knee is up, core is engaged. Extend all the way down, all the way up. Or I hold, or I can do a knee raise each time. So many options, you figure out what feels good to you. Good. Once we're done with those 10 curls, then we go forward, wide, up, down, that's one. It's helpful if I say it out loud, it helps keep me going, but this is a nice little reaction. Quick drill, let's go. And a cardio drill. Good. Keep moving, maybe you're with me, or you're going at your own pace. Exercises are up on the screen, so we can always pick up where we leave off if we get confused or need a break. Good. Again, if you need to press it forward, instead of going down, that's fine. Once you hit 10, you're back at the top to that knee knee, jack, jack. Good, maybe we just tap our knee with our hand instead of crunching all the way across. Totally fine. Maybe we just tap, tap, jack, jack. Have fun with it. Or you just do 10 jumping jacks. Good. Woo! You got less than a minute to go. We're cranking through this. 
Yep. You got it, you got it. That standing option. If you're with me, we may end up doing more. <laughs> Trainer count. Yep. Then we're moving on. Single arm press, leg extension. Good. Keep going, keep going. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Awesome work. Maybe you only got through one round. I did about a round. That was a lot of work. Four minutes, working straight through. We're moving on to our next round, just like this. Awesome job. All right, grab some water. Step in front of a fan. A little pep talk here. Remember, you're stronger than MS or whatever you're going through today. Nice little reminder. All right, we're going 20 crossover punches. One, two, three to 20. Good mornings, standing option. We're going that hinge. So I bend in my knees, hands are up on my ears. I'm hinging forward, squeezing through my glutes, standing up. 10 of those or seated option. We're like so. Hinge forward, sit up nice and tall. You can always reach those hands to those ankles if that's better. Good, 10, good mornings. Then we're gonna go row to a kickback. So kind of in that hinge position, my chest is towards my thighs, eyes are looking at my toes. I'm gonna pull those elbows in, extend arms back, one, two. Standing option, you hinge forward, back stays flat, arms are extended down, elbows here, extend back. 10 of those. We're working a little bit of the posterior chain and then 20 rope climbs. One, two, three, four to 20. That on repeat, four minutes. Let's do this. Crossover punches, again, seated or standing. If you wanna add in a leg, you can, or we just punch across the body, reaching that opposite hand to the opposite corner. Three, two, one, let's go. Once you hit 20, we're going for those good mornings. Hinge forward, sit up nice and tall. I like to have my legs extended out if I'm seated. I feel it more in my hamstrings. Inhale down, exhale up. Or you can reach towards those heels and sit up nice and tall. Keep going, standing option. We hinge forward, up and squeeze. Hands can be up if you want, or down by your side. Those hands can kind of drag alongside. I want you to remember, squeeze through those glutes. Once you hit 10, we're going into those rows to a tricep kickback. So, standing option, hinge forward, slide bend in those knees, pull those elbows in, shoulder blades together, extend arms back and extend forward. Working those triceps, working the back, keep going, or seated. Same idea. Pull those elbows up, squeeze in the shoulder blades, kick those weights straight back. Once you hit 10, then we are moving on to rope climbs. Good, place those weights to the floor. Rope climbs for 20. Standing or seated, you wanna make it more challenging, jog it out. You can do 20 hard count or easy count. Once you're done with those, crossover punches for 20. Seven, eight. Once you hit 20, you're going back to those good mornings. Again, if you're standing, slight bend in those knees, hands are up, hinge forward, squeezing those glutes before you stand. Nice. Keep going or seated, halfway there. Keep going, breathe, inhale down, exhale up. Once you hit 10 of those, you're going into 10. Rows to tricep, kickbacks, hinging forward. Pull those weights to your hip pockets, extend arms all the way back. You should feel this in the back and then in those triceps, the back of the arm. Keep going, standing option. 
Yep. Pull up, then extend back. Good. Once you hit 10, you're going on to rope climbs. I'm gonna go 20 hard count, which means, whoo, one, one, two, two to 20. I'm gonna jog it out, here we go. Keep it up. And 20, woo, less than a minute to go. Crossover punches for 20. Keep working. Nice work. We're moving on. If you're with me, we got 30 seconds to go. Keep moving, keep working through each of these moves. These strength moves are not for speed, quality over quantity. Do you feel it in those hamstrings? Do you feel it in your glutes? Keep that back flat. Nice. Last 10 seconds, finish strong, wherever you're at. And time. Woo! Nice job. Grab some water, step in front of your fan if you need to cool down. We got one more round, just like this. Nice job. Grab your jump rope. If you don't have jump rope, you can still do the movement. 20 jump ropes. If you don't have jump ropes and you don't want to do this swinging motion, you can always give me 20 punches. Ooh, and then we're gonna do a sit up with a chest press. So you can either use one weight or two weights, that's up to you. And then rainbow lat pulls, nice little back shoulder movement. And then hacky sack jacks, a little cardio, a little core. Standing option, more challenging, tapping the inside of that foot. I'll show you how all these work. So good old jump ropes, one, two, you know, every swing is a count. Sit up with a chest press. I'm gonna use two weights. Weights are kind of by my chest, I'm gonna lean back. And as I sit forward, chest press. Lean it back. But if you wanna just use one weight, weights here at my chest. And then nice little chest press, lean it back. 10 of those, and then 10 rainbow lat pulls. Weights are here, big circle up, pull those elbows down and back, press it up to the sky, back around, that's one. You're going for 10. And then hacky sack jacks inside of that foot with the opposite hand, or you touch the inside of that foot when the foot's flat on the floor. Each one counts. Here we go, four minutes. Last round, then we'll stretch it out. Good job. Here we go, here we go. Starting with those jump ropes. If you haven't gotten these uh, uh, cordless jump ropes, you should, they're awesome. In three, two, one, let's go. Once you hit 20, then you're going into 10 sit-ups with a chest press. I'll show you. Sitting on the edge of my chair, lean it back. You can do the movement together. Or sit up and then chest press. Good. Keep going, or you're sticking with that one weight. Sit up, chest press. Standing option, you're gonna get onto the floor and do a sit up with a chest press, or you can join us in the chair. Good, once you hit 10, then we're doing rainbow lat pulls. If the weights get too heavy, you can always drop them. Weights are here like a bicep curl, big circle up overhead, pull elbows down and back, press, and all the way down, one. 10 of those, here we go. Up, pull it down, press it up, good. Nice. Big full shoulder movement. You got it. Press. This one's gonna take the longest, but it feels good because we're working the back muscles, shoulders, triceps. Good, keep it up. Once you get to 10, then you're going to 20 hacky sack jacks. Easy count, each one counts. Ooh, this one's no joke. Drop the weights if they get too heavy or go to a lower weight. Nice. Then hacky sack jacks. Opposite hand to opposite inside of that foot. 
or reeling it down up to you. Good, if you're doing that standing option, more challenging. Once you hit 20, you're back to those jumping jacks or jump ropes. If jump ropes don't work, you can always punch it out. Here we go. Keep it up. Once you hit 20, sit up with a chest press. Woo, here we go. Lean it back, sit it forward. 10 of these. Working that core, working that chest. Once you hit 10, then those rainbow lat pulls. So I got some lighter weights. Keep going, keep going. We've got one minute of work. Rainbow lat pulls, down, up, all the way around. As long as you keep moving, you can use that body weight, lower weights, water bottles, tennis balls, whatever you've got. Come on, pull it down, push it up. Ooh, get those endorphins going. We move that body. We are going to boost our energy, boost our mood. It's not just good for us physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. Good, 30 seconds left. Nice. I'm gonna finish with my hacky sack jacks. Where are you at? Keep going. Come on, come on. You got it. We're gonna finish strong. Grab my jump ropes. I'm gonna finish here, wherever you are. Keep working. We've got about 10 seconds to go. Come on, stay strong. Breathe, keep moving. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. High fives to the screen, grab some water. Let's stretch it out. Find yourself to your seat. I don't know about you, my heart rate is up there. So we're just gonna focus on a couple of big deep breaths. You can inhale hands up or just place palms face up on your thighs. Inhale through the nose for four. Three, two, one. Exhale through the mouth for four, three, two, one. You can use those arms. Inhale up for four, three, two, one. Exhale, press it down for four, three, two, one. One more time. Good, clasp those hands, open up that chest. Good, open up that chest nice and big, feeling a nice stretch. As we exhale, I want you to reach those arms forward, round in the back, tucking the chin, feeling a nice stretch in those shoulder blades. Open them nice and tall, pull the fingertips up to the ceiling, feeling a stretch in those forearms. A couple times, rotating those wrists. Inhale, hands up, drop one arm, place that on the chair, and then reach it over to one side. Nice little half moon here. Inhale, hands up, palms together. Drop the other hand to the side and reach over. Good work. We got in our 30 minutes of exercise. Full body, we worked a little bit of everything. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down, shake that out. Roll those shoulders a couple times. Good, we worked neuromotor, cardio, strength, core, all the things. Arms open up nice and big. Bring one arm across, hug that arm to your chest. Rotate in the wrist. I'm super proud of you. Thanks so much for joining me. Open up those arms and exhale. The nice thing is, is you can, if you love this workout, you can always do it again. Join me on demand at your own time. We should be working out like this at least five days a week for 30 minutes to get that 150 minutes a week. Good, and release, shake it out. Nice little spinal twist here, big breath in. 
Twist to one side. Our exercises should incorporate some type of strength and cardio, neuromotor, working on balance and agility, coordination. Big breath in and exhale with a little bit of stretching. But you know what? Every day is a little different, right? Kind of check in with yourself right now and see, okay, how am I doing? Am I feeling any symptoms? Maybe I'm feeling a little bit more or less fatigued. It's a good sign. Big breath in and exhale back into the middle. You can do a little bit of a body scan. You can always check that video out. What that means is checking in from our head to our toes with symptoms or whatever we're feeling and use that to help inform us on what we should do or maybe not do throughout the day or maybe maybe use a, an, a mobility device to help with our walking if we're feeling a little unsteady. We're gonna put the our heel on the ground, toes pointed up for each. I don't know, I've lived with MS for almost 17 years now and I just feel like every day I have to reevaluate how am I doing and then let that inform me on what I can do, what should I try to do or you know, avoiding the heat or maybe avoiding really quick dynamic movements because my cognition is a little bit more affected. Um, pull this knee up towards your chest. So it's a, it's a journey of learning to listen to our bodies, right? Let's place that ankle on top of our thigh and then hinge forward, nice little glute stretch here. But I'm really glad that you joined me. On those days you're feeling stronger, maybe you wanna do more high intensity workout, I've got those too, so make sure you check out my YouTube channel. Good. Seated options, standing options. Place that foot on the floor, extend other foot out, heels on the ground, toes pointed up, and reach. If you have any questions when it comes to staying active and living with MS, or maybe if you have other mobility challenges or other injuries, Feel free to reach out. I'm a certified personal trainer and I will do what I can to help provide you with good information or resources. Good. Sit nice and tall. Pull that knee in and rotate that ankle. So glad you've joined me. I love having a workout, buddy. Though I may not be able to see you, we did it. Good. Place that ankle on top of your thigh. Hinge forward. Nice stretch in the glute. Perfect. <sighs> Place that foot onto the floor. One more big breath in through the nose. Reach those hands up. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Give yourselves a hand. Great job. Know that you are stronger than MS and you proved it. And I'm super proud of you. Have a great day and I will see you next time with another Keep Moving with Emily. Bye.